After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I a whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months. Bellariva was my chance to take a break. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. Finally, I'd made it to Bellariva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After, of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring my story in Bellariva began with a little girl. And a... It was my first morning in Bella Riva, and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway as I handed out my flyers. I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Aha! Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Why did you do that? Will you dream a dream for me? If I sit by your side and hold you so When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. Nope. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. When Izzy's friends called for her, 
She dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious. She seemed like a happy kid, but the part I wouldn't be able to fix. My first repair complete, I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message. At the address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the room. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it? It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with it. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label.
Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's a when I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of protecting- Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. And at walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday? Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables and... It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister. Can you see if you can figure out what- Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. I sat at one of the empty tables while at the counter, Carmen, as she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost... You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in... When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Actually, I might have another job for you. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. A curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. The woman in front of me was immaculate, not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister? So this was Carmen's sister? 
The two of them couldn't have been. The woman in front of me was... So this was Carmen. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any prof... The viewfinder is complete... I don't suppose you've fixed anything this valuable before. If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 19... I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty... It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and... Ch she took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so- I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny- That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena- The sun was setting over Bellariva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside... Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll... Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had- So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain- I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here.
I don't know. It's a bit... Uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. It works! I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. The sign fixed, we headed outside and mounted it carefully over the... Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. A smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept in diff... Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first... And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of... It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the- I barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned from- She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers- You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air, and I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair- On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I, uh, had an app. Can you fix it for me?
grown-ups play games as well? Can you show me how to play? I tried before but it was so hard. Her toy fixed. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking... Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. Why would he think that? Because, uh... Well, I kind of dropped it. Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is what With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the- It made me think. Had I really tried hard- I was so focused on the- <laughs> Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed death. I was uh, repairing a lawn mower. Totally embarrassed, I walked into an order. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of, I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my... Ah, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Are you sure it will all fit back together? I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me.
As I handed the watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one sm- I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I- Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was- As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least- When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't ex- Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. We're having a clear out. Or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her- She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped- Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but calm- Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. That light bulb is completely smashed. Okay, I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Still a few parts missing.
There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. I suppose she looked up to me. Her cool older sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Helena was transfixed, staring at the two young sisters the projector had brought- I... Oh, I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You can't- <gasps> That's the problem! There is no common things. I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't! You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so in Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like, I know I have to tell her the truth, it isn't fair. But I already- The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up if the competition would start any minute. Most all of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! <gasps> Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't- Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here- She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make this- It all fits. Now to light the gas. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great, if I say so myself. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first?
looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. My part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time. As a that was so tasty. Can well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to- Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years. I never stopped to think how much... The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train, and I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So, that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Maria! Maria! My favorite sous chef! Come on through! It was Carmen. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs where she brought out an old record player. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself. So, I've asked her to come and stay. I wanted to give her this, to cheer her up. Do you think it... Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. That's the speed dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. If I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now.
Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. The record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear, as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slack Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love myself. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but... They were both prepared to try. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken. The silence between us was so cowardly. My final morning in Bella Riva. I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see it. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, <laughs> Izzy, tells me she's going to be... If she could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It's a music box. It used to play... Be I'd love... Maria, could you add this family picture of us? This mechanism is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it. Perfect. The mechanism is good as new.
still a few parts missing. I think that's everything back together again. I should play it to make sure. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always work too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me if I sit by your side? I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father. Working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. My daughter comes first. Well, until... I'll never ever get bored of you, Dad. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph... She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for ever... Joseph was a good father. And I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to... My time in Bellariva was almost over, but... Before I left, I knew that. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story. The people I'd met, the items I would pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed. I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. The day as I packed. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. Elena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. The soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. My train ticket. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bella Riva, but Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to over- Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's pers- I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between- Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I re- Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you?
Dear Maria, luckily I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognise her. She's like a... She's always running round, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowls. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely... She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a... Sh it got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might... Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to... I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. These pipes look pretty simple. I should start with them. I'll need to connect all the pipes correctly to stop the steam pouring out. Why is there so much steam? That can't be right. How can there be so much steam? Ugh, I'm getting soaked! Oh, I wish Maria was here. She'd know how to put these pipes together. Finally, no more steam.
I think that's everything. Better test the buttons, just to make sure. All done. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Smells delicious. Now to make it look magical. Mmm, a perfect coffee. All it needs is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favourite biscuits. I was feeling more has-been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, you, always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. When she finally spotted it, though, she was to- I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. She decided it was probably a- She was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was- It made me realise how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never! <laughs>